If you're just scrolling through Facebook or Twitter, I mean, how many maps do you see a day? There's hundreds, easily, even if it's not something you're looking for. It's a powerful tool, GIS is, and easily maps can be manipulated, and people believe them. Who are we mapping? Who gets the power? We want to only hear from those with a degree. We only want to hear from those of a certain age. We only want to hear from those who look a certain way, whatever that may be. It may not be someone who's covered in tattoos. It may not be a single mom of two girls, fresh out of college at 36. I didn't graduate from a traditional high school. I have holes in my education. And so I remember sitting in English 101 being like, how am I gonna write a paper? All these people know what the, these things mean, APA, MLA. And then I got the first paper back and I remember Dr. Fox sitting me down on TCC and being like, hey, so I wrote all of your paper. Don't get scared. This is amazing and I'm gonna push you. You, you got an A on your rough draft, but I wanna see what you can do. I grew up playing music. It was how I dealt with being a teenager, which is never easy no matter who you are. I wanted to give people a stage, give them a voice, and like it still carries on into my work today, whether that be a microphone or a GIS system. GIS is a geographic information systems. In GIS, we teach people how to make maps, do spatial analysis, understand why things are where they are, and how we might plan better for the future. Alongside her work in the GIS certificate program, she's been working as a research assistant on the Action Mapping Project, or AMP. This project is, is very much about letting youth speak for themselves. How do we get kids invested in the process of making their neighborhoods better and more livable? so that we're not making decisions for them, but we're making decisions with them. If you all tell us that that alley behind the school is scary, but it could be really cool because you spend time there, then maybe we can get together enough money to pave that alley so that you can ride your skateboards back there and feel safe. Once you learn how to make your own data, you could not only do that for yourself, but you could go do that for your neighbors, you can go do that for your community, and no longer is it in the powers of just those who know GIS, those who've gotten a degree. It's what I love about the Urban Studies program is we're such a tight-knit community. I know their story, they know mine. We don't let people slip through the cracks. Yeah, it hasn't been easy, but I think I found the right community, I found the right family, be that professors or peers.